So what's the difference between a secant line and a tangent line? Well, let's hop onto the xy plane with some continuous function called f of x. A secant line connects two known points on f of x. I'll name them b comma f of b and c comma f of c. The slope of this line can be easily calculated using the slope formula from algebra, the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. Plug that slope and either point into point slope form and we have the equation of the secant line. Its slope can be thought of as the average rate of change of f of x from x equals b to x equals c. This is different from a tangent line, which touches just one point on f of x and no points around it. I'll use b comma f of b. Its slope is f prime of b, the derivative of f of x at x equals b. Plug in that slope and our one point into point slope form and we have the equation of the tangent line. Its slope can be thought of not as the average, but as the instantaneous rate of change of f of x at x equals b.